Welcome back to ADK Aquatics. Today we have the first ever Species Showdown. We have our two contestants here with us now. Our first contestant, the checkered barb, weighs in at 2 inches. And our second contestant, the lemon tetra, weighs in at 2 inches also. These two species will be judged on five different criteria. Color, personality, demeanor, hardiness, and price. The one who has the best overall score will be named the best species of the two. In the right corner we have checkered barbs and in the left corner we have lemon tetras. I'm going to be judging checkered barbs first on the criteria of color. Checkered barbs have a more subtle coloring of gray bodies with orange fins and the males are much more vividly colored than the females. I'm going to give the male checkered barbs a score of 8 out of 10 on their color and the female checkered barbs a score of 5 out of 10 bringing the total score to 6.5 out of 10. Ventectras have similar coloring for both males and females with the only difference being the males having a slightly more vividly colored anal fin. Lemon tetra body color can range from a greenish yellow to a more grayish green. The features that really make the lemon tetras pop though are the bright red eyes and the super yellow color on their anal fin for the males. That's why I'll be giving the lemon tetra males a 7.5 out of 10 and the females a 7 out of 10 for an average score of 7.25 out of 10 on color for the lemon tetras. The next category we have is the personality category with the checkered barbs going first again. The checkered barbs do not have very much personality because they are a schooling fish and mostly just swim back and forth. You would not be getting a checkered barb for its personality but rather you'd be getting it because it looks cool and you'd like to incorporate it in your community tank. That's why the checkered barbs will be receiving a low score on the personality of 2 out of 10. Like the checkered barb, the lemon tetra has very little personality and will be receiving a 2 out of 10 as well. Now it's time for our third category, demeanor. The checkered barbs have a very easygoing demeanor which makes them a great community fish. Although they may occasionally nip at a, at a fish with long flowing fins, they will usually leave other fish alone and mind their own business, being rather timid if you keep them in smaller groups of around 5 or 6. That is why they will receive an 8.5 out of 10 on demeanor. Lemon tetras are similarly easygoing, and I don't even think I've ever seen them attack another fish in my tank. That is why they will be receiving a 9.5 out of 10 on demeanor. Alright, now we are moving on to our fourth category, hardiness, with checkered barbs once again going first. Checkered barbs are very hardy fish, and they are recommended for beginners. And the five checkered barbs that I have, I've experienced no problems with since the time that I got them. That is why they will be getting an 8 out of 10 on hardiness. Lemon tetras are one of the hardiest fish out there. They are very good for beginners and they can go in an insanely wide variety of parameters. I've had my six lemon tetras for a year now and have experienced almost zero complications with them. That is why they will be receiving a 10 out of 10 for hardiness. All right, it's time for our fifth and final category, price. And this time we're gonna mix it up and start with the lemon tetras. Lemon tetras can be found for around three to six dollars at your local fish store. They will be receiving a 7 out of 10 for price.
checkered barbs can be found for around $3 at your fish stores. They will be receiving an 8.5 out of 10 for price. All right, now it's time for the final results. The checkered barbs got an average score of 6.5 out of 10, and the lemon tetras got an average score of 7.15 out of 10, making the lemon tetras the winners of the first ever species showdown.